Jeanne de Biolay is a jewellery designer, born in Leuven in Belgium, studying Asian history of art in London and working and living in Beijing for 30 years. She's turned her talent to fashion design, travelling to southern China to learn the lifestyles of the Miao people. The Miao live among the mountains where their culture is a living link to history, including their exquisite headdress and other wearable heritage. I began asking Jeanne whether jewellery is what drew her first to this fascinating community. It's actually, you know, not what uh, drew me to the Miao, but what took me to, to stay in and still be fascinated about China. Because it is such a unique uh, way of making jewellery, which is part of the Miao tradition, with all the little dingle dangles and all those tiny elements which are attached on springs and move with the movement of the wearer. So it's very beautiful. My Chinese name, Cui Cui, is also after jewellery making. It's after the uh, kingfisher, which adorns some of the uh, jewellery of uh, Chinese uh, traditional clothing. Your fashion show in Beijing was very much a tribute to the Miao people and their culture. How did you begin to create a collection? And then from that point, what was the thread that ran through the different pieces? Well, you see, when I uh, create a collection, the first thing I do, I suppose, is I daydream about the collection and I imagine what it is that I am going to describe. And uh, because I see my design as a storytelling, as a travelogue. So I read a lot of books, I research the history, the culture, and I travel, of course. And uh, the first stop always is the local markets. I'm just a market freak. So once I started discovering the depth of the subject, I thought, wow, how am I going to bring it all into one collection? I decided to go for Sun and Moon. And Sun and Moon can explain so many things. It, it talks about jewellery, silver and gold. It talks about houses are being built and how nature organized itself with daylight and nighttime. So uh, that became the symbol for my collection. Jeanne, you're from a magnificent culture yourself in Belgium, particularly for textiles. Designers like Raf Simmons, Diane von Furstenberg, Dries van Noten. Uh, when you look at the Belgian culture and you compare it with the craftsmanship that you see with the Miao people, how do they measure up? Uh, first of all, the quality of the Miao embroidery is what we would call haute couture level in many cases. But look at people like Yves Saint Laurent, Etro, and the Müller-Mester, they have uh, been so inspired by um, intangible heritage. And they didn't do it for other reason than just because they were mesmerized and inspired. So it's a very natural thing in fashion to go and look at, at exotism. And uh, this is uh, definitely a great source of inspiration, yes. You know, Jeanne, thankfully, the Miao culture is alive and thriving, in part thanks to people like you. But what relevance does it have in a modern 21st century that's driven by innovation? Well, I see that the Miao people are very much ahead of the slow movement. They cherish their tradition, they cherish their lifestyle, and they celebrate uh, at any possible moment, it's this idea that, yes, on one hand, the world is becoming faster and more innovative, but there's also uh, people who want to have a different quality of life by placing orders to, of embroidery and embroidered items to women. It gives them an opportunity, a choice, to not go to the big cities to get the very hard jobs, but to stay close to the home and the family and make a living. So all of this is part of a national effort to alleviate poverty around China. It's a project I'm so proud to be a part of in a very small way, but every way counts. Thank you very much, Jan. And in our next video, we'll continue exploring your journey with the Miao people and especially look at the gender aspect. Thank you very much. Coming up, Jeanne de Biolay tells us about the Miao people she met on her fascinating travels, next on The China Current.